Brand Giordano, model Intrepid. The Intrepid, it's the top shelf of the Giordano mountain bike sold at Walmart. And it gives us budget mountain bike shoppers features we've never seen before at our meager budgeted prices. And it's also more of a warning shot to some higher end brands. The Kent development team really kicking it into high gear. This is the third amazing bike in the last couple of months. First, the Kent Truvail, and Kent owns Giordano, so there's the Valor and this Intrepid. I hope you've seen the other two reviews links down in the description because I'm going to do something different for this first look video on the Intrepid. I'm going to break my usual component rundown into three quick segments. The first of which is the shared components between all three of these bikes because there are quite a few. Then we'll move to what is Valor specific but carries over to the Intrepid. And then finally, what is unique about the Intrepid itself? So let's get going. Truvail, Valor, Intrepid all use the same wide alloy handlebars and the new shorter stem. Wide bars, short stem, that equals happy mountain bikers. This saddle also on all three bikes, as is the same 35mm seat post clamp. These alloy pedals, the crank set, too. These are pro wheel alloy crank arms, and the single chain ring, it's a narrow watt. And the first time I think I've ever been able to say this, all three bikes get a sealed cartridge bottom bracket. And if you liked seeing this kickstand on the other two bikes, then you'll be happy seeing it here. For tires, all three decked with the same CST Patrol knobby mountain bike tires, wrapped around double wall alloy rims with black steel spokes. Wow, we are moving fast already at the last shared component, and that's these barrel-shaped rubber lock-on grips. Now we leave the Truvail behind, as awesome as it is, and pick up where the Valor and Intrepid equip together, starting at the brakes. Hydraulics. These are branded Tektro, not generics. HDM275 model. The shifter, it's also on both. This is a Micro Shift XLE. Advent caliber trigger shifting. The 10 tells you that the Intrepid is also a 10-speed which is another Valor carryover, the 11 to 40 tooth cassette. The XLE shifter means an XLE derailleur, that's on both, capable of shifting up to 42 tooth, so room to grow. Seat post, another duplication, the Zoom branded alloy post. Those hydraulic Tektros, it's not just the levers and calipers that are Tektro, the entire kit is the same. With a 180mm Tektro branded rotor up front, 160 at the rear. The rear quick release, present, and the two models also share Novatec hubs, but note this is a production sample. So this one doesn't have Novatec branding. Like this, which is on the production bikes, but not necessarily this part number. The same up front, Novatec branding only on the shipping product. That front hub also marks the point where the Intrepid leaves the Valor and starts to earn its higher price. Because on the Intrepid, that front Novatec hub, it's not a standard quick release, it's a through axle. Q-Lock, which is Sun Tour's through axle, and I've seen people say that Walmart bikes would never get a through axle, yet here we are. Can you hear the smiles? Because I'm smiling, and that through axle means the Intrepid also gets a unique fork. It's an XCM, but it's not the same XCM on the Truvel or the Valor, because this XCM has 120 millimeters of travel. That's 20 more than the other two bikes. Its other features, a manual lockout and the preload adjuster. The through axle and the 120 millimeters of travel, someone would have to look close to see those. The frame though, it's clearly different than the other two bikes. It has the tapered head tube and internal cable routing that we've come to expect, but the down tube design, this is new, and this finish, matte black with chrome graphics, painted on and only applied to the top and down tubes and the G logo on the head tube. Very attractive. Another element of this aluminum frame that gets some attention is aside from the chainstay welds and the bottom bracket joints, all the welds smooth, which is usually only seen on high-end mountain bikes. This is not only attractive, but a very refined frame, markedly different than anything I've seen on a bike from Walmart up to this point. This frame is classified as a medium. Like the other two bikes, it's 16.25 inches, full specs coming after the holiday. But I do want to mention one spec. Kent told me that both of these bikes have a 67 degree head tube angle. That's for the Valor and the Intrepid but they said I might want to check that. So I did, and the Valor is 67 degrees, as stated. However, when I use the same angle finder on the Intrepid, I get 66 degrees, which makes me think that this bike was initially specced with a 100mm fork, and at some point they upgraded it to 120, but hadn't upgraded their spec yet. Because going from 100 to 120 on the same frame would slacken the head tube angle just enough to change it by about a degree. On paper, that's four changes from the Valor to this Intrepid. Four things that are a really big deal. 
That's on paper. How does that equate to the ride? Well, first and foremost, the XLE. It worked on the Valor. It works as expected on the Intrepid. Also, this was my second day in a row riding. Remember I mentioned on the Valor that the heat index was well over 100? Well, today it's over 110. So I had to cut my loop in half. But for this first look ride, I got enough detail that in a short amount of time, I learned a lot about this bike. And the first thing that jumped out at me straight away is going from a 100 millimeter XCM to a 120 millimeter XCM, way more different than you might think. It's too hot to wear my gimbal, so this is raw camera. And you can see that this is less jarring than the same section on the Intrepid. On the XCM, 20 millimeters makes a major difference. I know personally because I've measured each and every one of these, I'm just waiting for the official specs, but all three of these bikes are very close geometry wise. However, if you've ever sat on two different bikes that are the same frame size, you'll know that some just fit better than others. I'm very comfortable on this bike, which equates to more confidence, very important when I'm on a 29er. And I talk about fitment, I mention frame size quite often, but there's so much more to it. There's reach, there's stack, there's the width of the bars, a lot of numbers, and they don't always equate from one bike to the other, even when they're very close. For me, the Intrepid, it brings the improvements of the Valor, as well as fitment and fork that's what I focus on here fitment and fork both major improvements in my eyes you know I've been yearning for and we've been getting bikes that we can take onto an entry-level mountain bike trail without modification and this bike definitely qualifies for that it actually steps it up a notch well that's not counting pedals throw some new pedals on this and I could put some serious time on this bike on this trip. I knew big box bikes were improving, but we've gained so much so fast, we being the Walmart budget bike shoppers. The Truvail for its price, amazing, and these two Giordano mountain bikes, especially this Intrepid, finally stepping into the role that I expect from a mountain bike. And I'm talking the role of an entry level local bike shop bike. That's what this fits into. It's that good, in my opinion. I don't know what to hone in on, whether it's the through axle, the hydraulic brakes, or the XLE, even though it's a non clutch derailleur, I can work with this. As is, I mean, who would have thought that we would be arguing about cassette ratios and which model of Novatech hub a Walmart bike is equipped with? And what about the rub it in their face feature, a through axle, on a Walmart bike? Let's see how many people don't make it this far in the video. Those same people that have always said that it has to at least have a through axle, now all of a sudden through axle isn't going to be good enough. But we know that it is, and the 120 millimeters of travel, an extra bonus. And what about this frame? This is above anything that I've ever seen on a big box bike smooth welds. So sleek is this frame that the two people I ran across out on the trail thought that it was a carbon fiber bike. It looks that smooth. Now of course you get up close and you can see the chainstay weld in the bottom bracket weld that kind of gives it away but think about it how many times have you ever looked at the bottom bracket weld on someone's bike. If I rode up on this I don't think most people are going to look past the smooth welds it's so smooth, it really does look like carbon fiber. And with this fancy name, I don't know that most people are going to know this is a Walmart bike. Not that I care. Actually, I proudly proclaim that I'm riding a Walmart bike. So many pros. Nitpicks, the rear spacing. I'm sure that will get some pushback, but honestly, I don't care because normally I worry about rear spacing because I have to buy a new wheel set, but I don't have to buy one for this bike. But if I am going to nitpick, I'll point out that this is a tapered head tube with a fork that has a through axle but it is a straight steerer fork. And also no dropper support on this frame, but let's be honest, for most Walmart bikers, I mean, people that want a dropper post, that's a very small percentage of us. For me, I am more than impressed with the Intrepid, and I think this is the bike a lot of us have been waiting for. And we've been getting close, but this really does push it to that point. I mean, it can still get even better, but this is a really good bike and I think at a fair price. The price I will put in the title, because sometimes that changes. I like to protect my videos from aging too poorly. But right now I want to know what do you think about this Giordano Intrepid? Is it the bike for you? Or are you happy with the Truvail or maybe even the Valor? Or is there another bike sold at Walmart that is the bike of choice for you? Share your ride and comment below. Thank you so much for watching Kev Central. Have a great day.